guys and welcome back to another video with DIYs by Carolina. I hope everybody is doing well and having an amazing day and if you are new to this channel welcome my name is Carolina and if you enjoyed this type of content I would love to have you join my family of subscribers and as always to my existing subscribers welcome back you guys. All right, you guys, so as you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me as I clean and decorate my living room and my dining room space for fall. Now, in this video, I had intended to add the kitchen to this as well, but I decided to wait because I'm actually in the process of making over my guest bathroom. Now, for those of you who have been following me for quite some time, you might recall that a couple of months ago my bathroom flooded and so I never actually made over that bathroom space after the repairs were made. So I really want to go ahead and do the makeover, you know, and just have the area looking really, really nice by the time the holidays roll around. So what I was thinking about doing is actually including my kitchen decorate with me for the fall along with the bathroom makeover. So that video will be coming up soon. All right, you guys, so something else I'm trying to do is I'm trying to discipline myself with posting a new video every Sunday. No later than Monday, but my goal is every Sunday. So fingers crossed I can, you know, follow through with that and discipline myself to do that. But anyway, um, without further ado, you guys, let's get into this video. All right, you guys, so we're gonna start this video off with a really, really nice all natural DIY for the fall season. So I am going to be creating a fall all natural multi-surface household cleanser. And these are the oils, the essential oils that I'm going to be using in this project. And I will have all the information listed in the description with the ingredients as well as the amount. One thing that's very important is you have to have an amber glass bottle. A plastic one will not work because with essential oils, you don't want the chemicals from the plastic to leak into the mixture because that won't make it natural. So I purchased the glass bottles from Amazon and it came with the chalk labels as well as this little cute little spout here. And I will have that information linked in the description as well. Okay, you guys, so the ingredients I'm going to be using in this DIY is a teaspoon of baking soda. And so basically, baking soda serves as a scrubbing agent, especially if you're going to be using this multi-surface cleanser in the bathroom or in the kitchen area. And so that will give it that scrubbing effect. All right, so the next ingredient that I'm going to be using is a teaspoon of Castile soap. And if your container is no more than 16 to 20 ounces, you don't want to use no more than a teaspoon because you don't want your surface cleanser to be sudgy, okay? So just a teaspoon is all it takes. And just some of the benefits of the Castile soap is that it has antibacterial and antifungal effects. Also, Castile soap is gentle yet highly effective cleanser for your skin and it also is great for tackling stubborn grimes on your household surfaces. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some distilled water to this solution and like I mentioned before, you can also boil some water and let it cool and that's the same as distilled water. All right, you guys, so here's a look at some of the essential oils I'm going to be using in this mixture. So I'm using the apple cider along with the pumpkin pie. Um, in addition to that, I'm using some cinnamon in there along with some gingerbread. And the only other one that I didn't show on here, um, which is actually one of my favorites and one of my go-tos, is frankincense and if you're the type of person that likes like that whole like a woodsy kind of warm smell frankincense is definitely a plus all right so i did use about 20 drops of each of the essential oils so the only thing left to do now is to give the solution a nice shake and you want to always remember to shake it every time you use it and if this works as well as i hope it does then it's goodbye, Mrs. Myers. Okay, you guys, so now it's time to get started with cleaning. I can't wait to try out this DIY multi-purpose cleanser. I hope that I absolutely love it, you guys, because if I do, 
no more Mrs. Myers. So this is definitely a wonderful organic and all natural method to cleaning your home and still, uh, you know, being able to get those wonderful fall scents as well. So we'll see how I like it and I will definitely let you guys know. But if this is something that you're looking for, you know, in terms of organic, all natural, definitely give this DIY a try. So let's get started so we can move on to the next space in my home. Okay, you guys, so right quickly, I wanna show you the space that I'm going to be cleaning. I'm going to be starting in the living room area first. So I'm going to decorate the living room in this video as well as the dining room. And if I have time, I'm also going to try and decorate the kitchen as well. But I've pretty much taken all of my summer decor down. And so as you guys can see here, we're, we're dealing with a blank slate here, okay? Which is exactly how I like it. So the only thing that needs to be done in this space is basically to just clean and decorate. So the only area that I still have to just kind of remove the items or whatever, I didn't touch my shelves over here. So I still have to actually take all of these items down and decorate this shelving area because I'm not going to leave it like this. Okay, so just to give you guys one last view. And this space here where I have all my family portraits and my computer desk, I'm actually considering just changing out this entire space. I know I talked about it and um, I think it was my summer uh, Decorate With Me video. I haven't gotten a chance to do it yet because I've been doing so many other projects, but I know exactly what I want to do in this space. So that's something hopefully I can take on and tackle before the Christmas uh, season comes in. So yeah, so this is what we're working with. So let's go ahead and get started with cleaning and decorating so we can move on to the next space in this video. Y'all, this multi-surface cleanser smells amazing. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It smells so good. So with all the different fall essential oils that I use, the pumpkin, the apple cider, the cinnamon, the ginger, it just smells so heavenly, you guys. And it cleans so well. OMG, I am in love with this multi-surface cleanser. So guys, because this multi-surface cleanser is all natural, it's safe to use around small kids as well as pets.
ask you guys, when do you typically decorate for the different seasons? So I feel like I'm always so late when it comes to decorating. Uh, for example, here we are in almost the second week of October and I'm just decorating for the fall and I'm not even done yet. So when do you guys typically decorate for the different seasons or do you even decorate at all? Let me know in the comment below if you've already decorated and when you typically start. So right quickly, I want to share with you guys this neat little hack that I like to use to keep my home smelling fresh and clean, especially the carpet. So I like to spray down the Microband 24 hour sanitizing spray. And so I typically do this every time I vacuum. So I'll spray it down and then I'll let it sit for about an hour and then I'll go back over it and vacuum it again. And so I only do this whenever I vacuum and I typically vacuum about three, sometimes four times a week. So this is a great way to deodorize your carpet your home and just keeping everything smelling fresh and clean okay you guys so we're done cleaning the living room space so now let's go ahead and get started with decorating so we can move on to the other two spaces So guys, these are actually pillow covers that I purchased from Amazon. I love the color. Um, they're supposed to be burnt orange, but they look a little bit lighter to me. But anyway, I will have this information for these uh, particular covers listed in the description if this is something that you're interested in. 
So guys, I am absolutely loving these plaid pillows. So I purchased these pillows from Big Loss over the summer. They were marked down to like $6.99. And so they're like a black, white, and sort of like a wheat color plaid. And plaid reminds me so much of fall. And I thought these pillows looked great with that orange pop of color. So what do you guys think? Um, I'm just really loving this whole aesthetic. All right, you guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and create my tablescape for the living room space. And so this is basically a tray that I've had for quite some time. It's a beautiful rattan tray. And then to that, I'm going to add this beautiful white vase that I purchased from the Dollar General. I got this about a year ago, you guys, and I think I paid like $12 for this. And in terms of my stems, I'm using these beautiful fall colors. They're so vibrant. I got these stems from Pop Shelf, um, and I think they were like $3 each. And as you guys can see, two is plenty because they're so full and have so many leaves. So I'm definitely going to be using that because I love the color combination with the pillows. Uh, I'm just really, really loving fall. So next, I'm going to be adding these cute adorable <laughs> pumpkin steaks oh my gosh i got these last year from the dollar tree you guys can you believe it and so they're like a rattan material actually and so i'm going to include this little brown here but i think adding the white pumpkins just makes the flower arrangement really pop especially against the white vase in addition to that, I'm going to be adding these little fillers. I got these from Pop Shelf as well. They have the little cute little acorn and the little nut on it. And so I got these from Pop Shelf. These were like a dollar. So I'm only going to be adding two of those. And this is just kind of to give the flower arrangement a little bit more interest and to give it a more fall feel. So as you guys can see, I played with this arrangement for quite some time, okay? Just trying to get it exactly the way I wanted it. So you guys will see the final look of this at the end. So I've had this little cute Hello Fall sign now for about a year. I actually purchased this from Five Below. And I added the cute little leaves around the corners and I also added the little bow. So guys, if you have never shopped at Pop Shelf, definitely give them a try if you have one in your area. This is where I purchased this pretty little pumpkin frame uh, from Pop Shelf for $8. So I thought this was really, really nice. So guys, I purchased this colorful leaf garland from Timu. I think I might have paid like under $3 for it. And I thought this was such a good buy because the colors are perfect for what I was trying to accomplish in my home for this fall season.
So I got these wooden frames here from Big Gloss. They came two in a pack. And all I basically did was just add the pretty fall flower and the little pumpkin and a bow to it just to kind of make it more festive. you guys so now I'm going to get started with decorating these shelves over here and this is the area I tend to struggle in because I can never figure out exactly what style I like so chances are I'm going to end up playing with this a few times before I get the desired look so you guys will see at the end of this video in the reveal what I actually came up with for these shelves I bought two of these amber vases from Hobby Lobby. They were actually half off and I only paid like, I think it was $5.99 for these. So these stems actually came from Walmart. I think they were like a dollar each. I had them now for over a year. And so to add to this, I'm including these cute little rattan pumpkin steaks that I purchased from the Dollar Tree on last year. So the pumpkin, the Hello Pumpkin came from Burlington. I purchased that on last year. So I did use that last fall. The candle came from Hamrick's and this cute little bead came from Walmart. played with this table a few times just trying to style it and figure out what works for me so you guys will see at the end during the reveal the final look of this table all right you guys so the time is 11 p.m. Um, it's pretty late and you can probably tell I'm exhausted but the living room is finished so now I'm going to move on to the dining room space I'm going to clean it and I'm going to decorate it and I'm not going to actually include the kitchen in this video because I really want to get this video posted
you guys. So here's a look at the stems I'm going to be using on the dining room table. I actually got these stems from Pop Shelf and they were about $5 a stem. stems came from Hobby Lobby uh, they were 40% or either 50% off so I got two of those to finish filling in this arrangement these little wreaths actually came from Aldi's guys I love shopping at Aldi sometimes you can find some really really cool knick-knack items for the home also I purchased these gorgeous fall leaf placemats from Ross um, this was over the summer believe it or not so I got four of these uh, placemats they are so gorgeous they came two in the pack and they were like $4.99 So I'm going to be adding these beautiful candle holders. They were marked down to $6.99. These actually came from Burlington or either Ross. I think it was Ross.
guys, so we have reached the end of this video. And I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for all your support on my channel. And if you enjoyed today's content, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. That would really, really help out my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye now.